Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome everyone to this new English language lesson on Anora TV. I wish you all a good time as well as a maximum benefit. Before we start our lesson, let's play this game. Which is what country is it? What country is it? You will see some pictures that represent countries. You have to find out the name of the country. Now let's start with these pictures. Look at these pictures. This famous food you eat with the chopsticks and this famous building. It's in... Excellent, China. What about these two? Look here, the pyramids, the Sphinx, the Cairo Tower. Where are they? Can you guess? Are they in USA, China or Egypt? Excellent, in Egypt. What about the last two pictures here? Look, the famous Eiffel Tower and this flag. They are in, excellent, they are in France. Now let me ask you, have you ever been to another country? France, Italy, Spain, Egypt, China. Have you ever been to another country? Have you ever flown in an airplane? Have you ever done that? Well, in our lesson for today, which is a present perfect, we will see what things you have done, what things you haven't done yet, what the places you have been to, and so on. So today we will talk about a present perfect. Let's start with, let's read. We will read a text about Sally. She will tell us about her adventure in China. Now let's read. I still remember my journey to China with my family. It was amazing. We have been there in 2011 in the summer vacation. We have seen the Great Wall of China and walked on it. We have also seen the giant pandas in the National Zoo. They were so beautiful. We have eaten lots of Chinese food. It was delicious. My father has sailed in the Yangtze River. It was a journey I will forever remember. Now, dear students, let's read the text once again. I still remember my journey to China with my family. It was amazing. We have been there in 2011 in the summer vacation. We have seen the Great Wall of China and walked on it. We have also seen the giant pandas in the National Zoo. They were so beautiful. We have eaten lots of Chinese food. It was delicious. My father has sailed in the Yangtze River. It was a journey I will forever remember. After we have read the text twice, can you tell me what Sally says about her adventure in China? Let's see together. Sally says, Sally says, My family and I have been to China. I have seen the Great Wall of China. We have seen the giant pandas. We have eaten Chinese food. My father has sailed in the Yangtze River. Now, think with me. What is the tense Sally used to talk about her adventure in China? She used the present perfect tense. Now, why did she use the present perfect tense? She was talking about a life experience. She went to China in the past and till now she is still having great memories there. That's why she used the present perfect to connect the past with the present. So, why do we use the present perfect? Let's see. We use the present perfect tense to talk about an action that is connected with both the past and the present. Again, we use the present perfect tense to talk about an action that is connected with both the past and the present. Now let's see some examples on how we can connect the past with the present. Look at these two famous people here. Do you know them? They are very famous. They are Fairuz and Um Kulthum, two famous singers. Are they still alive? Fairuz is still alive while Um Kulthum is dead. Fairuz has sung hundreds of songs. And if she wants, she can sing again. But Um Kulthum sang in the past and she no longer can sing again. So when we say Fairuz has sung lots of songs, we mean that 
Fairuz sang in the past. People are still listening to her songs and she can sing if she want because she is still alive. Let's see this example. Ahmed has learned English since 2000. What does this mean? It means that Ahmed started learning English in the past in 2000. Until now, he is still learning English and it may continue in the future. So we are connecting the past with the present. The last example. I have just made a cake. I have just made a cake. What does it mean? Look here. It means that the action of making cake happened a short time ago. The cake is still hot and you can see it. So we are connecting the past with the present. Now, dear students, let's move to these examples. Look at the first one. Ahmed has lived in America. He has lived in America. Hala has seen the Eiffel Tower. She has seen the Eiffel Tower. The cat has eaten all the food. It has eaten all the food. Now, what tense did we use in these sentences? Excellent, we use the present perfect tense. Now look at he, she, and it. They are followed by what? They are followed by the helping verb has plus the third form of the verb, the past participle. Lived, seen, eaten. And it's whether regular ends with ed or irregular based on memorization. So again, he, she, it are followed by the helping verb has plus the past participle. So we can say Ahmed, Hala, the cat, are followed by has plus the past participle. These are singular nouns. Or we can say, he, she, it are followed by has plus the past participle. For example, has eaten. He has eaten. She has eaten. It has eaten. Let's move to these examples. I have cleaned my room. I have cleaned my room. Ahmed and I have finished our homework. We have finished our homework. Max and Tom have broken the window. They have broken the window. Again, the tense is a present perfect tense. Look at the pronouns here. I, we, they. They are followed by the helping verb have plus the past participle. Cleaned, finished, broken. So we can say I, you, Ahmed and I, the plural noun. Max and Tom, the plural subject here. Or we can say I, you, we, they are followed by have plus the past participle. For example, have eaten. I have eaten. You have eaten. We have eaten. They have eaten. Now, dear students, after we explained the present perfect in general, let's practice. It's a practice time. Correct the mistakes. Correct the mistakes. One, Samir have written three letters so far. Have is wrong. What is the correction? Excellent, it's has. Samir has written three letters so far. We have Samir here, a singular noun. So we use has, the helping verb has. Two, turn off the TV. You have seen the film twice. Can we say you has? So the answer is a great. You have seen the film twice. You is followed by the helping verb have. So the sentence, turn off the TV, you have seen the film twice. Three, we have visit the National Museum. We have visit the National Museum. Can we use visit like this? Excellent, we should use visited, the third form, the past participle. So we have visited the National Museum. The last one, they have rode camels in Egypt. They have rode. Can we say have rode? Have followed by the past simple. Excellent. We should use ridden. Ridden, the past participle of the irregular verb ride. So, they have ridden camels in Egypt. Now, dear students, after we have done this activity, it's time to have a short break. After the break, we will discuss just and yet. Stay with us.
Welcome back. In this part, we will talk about just and yet with the present perfect. First, look at this picture. What can you see here? We have two boys. What are they doing? They are having a breakfast. Now the question, are they finished? No, they are still having a breakfast. So they say, we have just started having a breakfast. We haven't finished yet. Again, we have just started having a breakfast. We haven't finished yet. Now when we say, we have just started having breakfast, what does this sentence mean? It means that the action of having a breakfast started a short time ago. A short time ago before now. So, we have just started having a breakfast and you can see that we are still having a breakfast. So, just is used with the present perfect. It expresses something happened a short time ago. And the last point, it's used with affirmative sentences. We use just with affirmative sentences, not negative sentences. For example, look here. They have just arrived at the airport. They have just arrived at the airport. The sentence is affirmative and we used just here. Look at the second example. Dana has just finished the painting. She has finished the painting a short time ago. Dana has just finished the painting. Again, the sentence is affirmative. The last example. The baby has just woken up. The baby has just woken up and he is still wiping his eyes. So, we use just here. Now look at these examples once again. The first one, they have just arrived at the airport. Now, dear students, where is the verb in this sentence? Excellent, it's have arrived. Have is the helping verb and arrived is the main verb, the past participle. Now, where is just? Where did we use just? Excellent. We use just between the helping verb and the main verb. So, the position of just in the affirmative sentences is in the middle, between the helping verb and the main verb. Let's see this example. Dana has just finished the painting. Look here again, just is between the helping verb has and the past participle finished. And the last one, the baby has just woken up. Again, just is in the middle between has the helping verb and walking the past participle. Now, can you tell me the position of just in affirmative sentences? A great. Just comes between the helping verb and the main verb. Again, just comes between the helping verb and the main verb. Now, dear students, we have discussed just. What about yet? What about yet? Do we use yet as just? Let's see. I haven't finished my homework yet. I haven't finished my homework yet. Sally has not cleaned her room yet. Now look at these sentences. They are in the present perfect tense. Now, what type of sentences are they? Are they affirmative or negative? Excellent, they are negative. Look here, we have not and we have the abbreviation NT. So they are negative sentences. Look at yet. Where did we use yet in these sentences? At the end of the negative sentences. Look at these two examples. Has she washed the dishes yet? Have they made lunch yet? Now, are these two examples sentences or questions? A great, they are questions. Why? We started them using has and have, the helping verbs. Now, where did we use yet in these two questions? at the end of the questions. So, dear students, we can say yet is used to talk about incomplete actions, actions that we haven't finished yet. It's used with the negative sentences. We use yet with negative sentences. It's also used in questions. We use yet in questions. It comes at the end of questions and negative sentences. The position of yet is at the end of the negative sentences and the questions. Now, dear students, after we have discussed yet, let's see some examples. Look here. They haven't finished fixing the roof yet. 
They haven't finished fixing the roof yet. The action is incomplete. They are still fixing the roof. Look at the sentence. It's negative. We have anti. And look at yet. Yet comes at the end of the negative sentence. Look here. Aya hasn't washed her hands yet. The same thing about yet. And look at this question. Have they returned home yet? Have they returned home yet? This is a question. And we used yet at the end of the question. Now, dear students, after we have discussed just and yet, it's time to practice. Use just or yet. You have to figure out whether you have to use just or yet. Let's see the first one. I have not washed the dishes. I have not washed the dishes. Shall we use just or yet? A great, we shall use yet. Why? We have not. So this is a negative sentence. Look here. I have not washed the dishes yet. So in this sentence, in this negative sentence, we used yet at the end of it. Two, Sammy has painted the door. Sammy has painted the door. Is it just or yet? Look at the sentence. It's affirmative. So we shall use just. But where shall we use just? Excellent. Between has and painted. So we say, Sammy has just painted the door. Sammy has just painted the door. Look here. Just is between has, the helping verb, and painted, the past participle. The last one. Has Ahmed left the party? Has Ahmed left the party? Shall we use just or yet? And notice it's a question. So we shall use a great yet at the end of the question. Has Ahmed left the party yet? Has Ahmed left the party yet? Now, dear students, it's time for another short break. After the break, we will discuss using since and for. Stay with us. Welcome back. In this part, we will talk about since and for. Since and for with the present perfect tense. Now look at this question. How long have you learned English? How long have you learned English? I'm asking about the duration or the moment you have started learning English. Look at the answer here. I have learned English for five years. I have learned English for five years. Look here. I started learning English in the past. Until now, I am learning English. And I may continue learning English in the future. Look at four. Four is followed by what? It's followed by five years, a duration or a period of time. Now, once again, let's look at this question. How long has John been a teacher? Again, how long has John been a teacher? So, let's see the answer. John has been a teacher for 12 years. John has been a teacher for 12 years. Look here. John started working as a teacher in the past. Until now, he is working as a teacher. And he may continue in the future. Look at four. Four is followed by 12 years. 12 years, a period or a duration of time. So, we can say four is used to express a period or a duration of time. Again, for is used to express a period or a duration of time. Now, let's see some examples. Look here. We have lived in this house for two years. Again, for is followed by a duration or a period of time. The second example. I have waited my friend for an hour. I have waited my friend for one hour, a duration of time. The last one, Tom has had the car for a long time. Tom has had the car for a long time. Whenever you see a long time, you have to use for. So, we know now that for is used to express a period or a duration of time. What about since? Let's see this equation. How long have you learned English? We answered, I have learned English for five years. And we can answer like that. 
I have learned English since 2009. Again, I have learned English since 2009. It means that the start of learning English is in 2009. I have started learning English in 2009. Until now, 2014, I am learning English and I may continue learning in the future. Again, look at this question. How long has John been a teacher? Remember, we have answered before that John has been a teacher for 12 years. We used for to answer this question. And we can answer, John has been a teacher since 2002. Since 2002. So it means that he started working as a teacher in 2002. The start of the action was in 2002. Until now, he is working as a teacher and he may continue working as a teacher in the future. But he started in 2002. So, we use sense to express the moment we started the action. Look here. Sense is used to show the moment when the action is started and it's followed by a specific point in time. Again, sense is used to show the moment when the action is started and it's followed by a specific point in time. Now, dear students, let's move to see some examples. Look here. We have lived in this house since last summer. Look here. Since last summer. It means that the starting point for living in this house was last summer. I have waited, my friend, since 12 o'clock. The last one. Tom has had the car since he was 16. The starting point of having the car was when he was 16 years old. Now, dear students, it's time to practice. Complete the sentences using since or for. You have to figure out whether you have to use since or for. 1. Louise has been in his room 3 hours. Look here, 3 hours. A duration or a period of time. So we must use... A great, we must use four. Four. Louise has been in his room for three hours. Let's read the sentence once again. Louise has been in his room for three hours. Look here, three hours, a duration or a period of time. Two. Abir has been my friend. I was a child. This is the starting point. I was a child. So we should use a great sense. Why? I was a child is the starting point. So, Abir has been my friend since I was a child. 3. Amir has had a headache this morning. This morning, it's not a duration of time. It's the starting point. So, the answer is a great. Since Amir has had a headache since this morning. Why? This morning is the starting point. Let's see the next one. I haven't seen my friend a long time. I haven't seen my friend a long time. Look here, we have a long time. So the answer is amazing, it's four. I haven't seen my friend for a long time. I said, whenever you see a long time, use four. The last one, Ahmed and Hamza have had their cat a year. Look here, a year. It means a duration of time, a period. So we use here, excellent, four. Ahmed and Hamza have had their cat for a year. Why? Again, a year is the duration of time. Now, dear students, we come to the end of our lesson for today. Today, we have talked about the present perfect tense. And we have talked about using just and yet, as well as since and for. It's time to leave you. Thank you and see you next time.